All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to test your salt levels uh, with your Blue Fusion salt strips or your AquaCheck salt strips. Essentially, this is gonna be the amount of sodium bromide you would have poured in your hot tub uh, upon your first ever fill or after draining and refilling. If it is your first fill and you got it from us, you're probably gonna get a bottle similar to something like that. Uh, if you are buying it from the store after the fact, you're probably going to end up with a bottle in our store, something like this. So what you're going to want to do is take out one of the strips, which will look like this. Nothing on the back, but essentially, all we want to do here is you want to go halfway in. So I'm just going to hold it here like this. Let's see if I can get it on the video there. Maybe not. And we're gonna wait. If you if you can see, you might notice that on the very bottom of the strip, it's starting to become a lighter color, essentially almost like a, a yellow versus the orange. So we're gonna wait and wait, keep it halfway in the water. We want it to go all the way up between a seven and an eight. If it is in that range, then we're good to go. But if it stops below, then we probably don't have enough salt. And if it goes past, then we probably have too much salt. So we'll wait here a little bit more. And you know it's done when if you look at the top, at the very top, kind of where my thumb is, there's gonna be a really dark black line that's gonna get drawn across that strip. Essentially like someone took a marker, like a ghost took a marker and, and marked that for you. So. Keep waiting here. And this doesn't have to be done often. Uh, you could essentially, if you top off your water, you could always do it just occasionally just to see if you lost some, some salt over the time and you're diluting it with, with water with no salt. But usually you should be good to go once you put that salt in there. there. This is one of the longer tests that you would be using. A lot of those pH and alkalinity tests, those are pretty quick. It's just an in and out dip, which there should be a video for that on our YouTube as well. Sure, many of you guys will probably fast forward to this point, but there, we're reaching the seven, which is good. Exactly where we want to be. Soon, let's see if I can bring this down. No. So you're gonna to start to see a black line right below my thumb. You see it start to move right there? Now it's just about done. And right there, so. You see that there's that black line I was telling you about right at the top of there and it looks like we're right between that seven and eight so like a seven point which is really good so that's how you test your salt 